That's true. And uh, this this week's big question is cause for celebration. Okay. Um, because uh, we we hit a, a milestone with the big question, which I didn't realize until I compiled all of the big questions today. But uh, last week, our question was, who should be the new go-to guy? Who should be the new edge for the WWE? And that was our 30th big question. So if you'll indulge me for the briefest of moments, I would like to quickly read you all of the big questions that we've asked so far. Okay. You ready for this? No. (laughs) Good. What would it take to make you stop watching pro wrestling? What path does an NXT superstar need to take to succeed on the main roster? What went wrong with Roman Reigns and how can it be fixed? What <laughs> Would we have the same Royal Rumble backlash if not for Daniel Bryan? If you could bring anyone in to run the WWE, who would it be? What should the WWE give up for Lent? Is the WWE Hall of Fame sustainable? What do the Divas need? More match time or better storylines? Is there a place for the kind of training that got Bill DeMott in trouble? What is your WWE Hall of Fame criteria? Is it important to have the heavyweight champion on the show every week when was a time that wrestling made you stand up and cheer if wwe was 100 percent transparent what would change is winning on an indie promotion more or less beneficial than losing on television should tough enough be fresh talent or indie trained wrestlers trained indie wrestlers if you could pick any wrestler to have a show on the wwe network who would it be at what point should daniel bryan hang it up how do you get someone into professional wrestling who would you pick from time and insert into NXT. What is left to shock us with wrestling? What is your criteria for a tough enough winner? What, who would you remove from WWE to benefit the company most? Who would you remove from WWE to benefit them the most? From all the recent releases, who will do the best? What makes a good wrestling fan? Who had the best ring name ever? What makes a good wrestling feud? What from your childhood do you miss in today's wrestling? What would you do to start a new wrestling show? Who should be the new go-to guy? I wanted to read those for no other reason than because I found 30 of them and now they're all in one place. (laughs) (laughs) If I'm being completely honest. And, um, there's a lot of WWE talk, a lot of NXT talk, not a lot of indies talk. Very few of those questions involve the indies. And uh, I discovered that absolutely none of them involve.